settings. Um, again, metro other I mean metro. If the guy has another on the name, another metro to remake. Um, let's try this out. And one thing I like about another metro to remake is that it's well, uh, yeah, it's being made a uh, game maker, which is also what I'm trying to use to make my game. Also, another thing that I like is that it just doesn't um, like copy straight from what already exists from Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission. But yeah, those are Zero Mission sprites for Samus. But I mean, even like a bunch of stuff is like um, new gameplay stuff for this game that's that does feel pretty Metroid ish. I really like the remix of the song. Okay, let, first let me one thing. Well, two things. That there's this passageway kept from the original Metroid 2. Well, on the original Metroid 2, you can clearly see it, and on this one, you can't. There's this foreground blocking it. But first, naturally, a person will just go to the right and go through here. And you can see the lava here, and then you go through here. But yeah, it's a dead end. Basically, the same thing that happens on Metroid 1. You go to the right, like people use are used to, and comes to the dead end. And I just kind of, I'm not supposed to know. So the only other place to go is left. Oh wait, okay. We I they kept that from Metroid Zero Mission, how like um it's hidden until you find it and then it reveals itself. <laughs> And also, pretty interesting here that on the original game, there's no indication that there's lava here. But it's important that he added it here. And also, this is not part of the original game, but it's kind of like training for the power grip. That's new to this game. There you go. Metroid. And then, then now I go over to the right. And this is the importance of showing the lava at this point. So you can see that it 
every time you defeat a Metroid, or every so often, um, the lava drains. Very important. The one thing is, uh, geographically, topologically speaking, or geologically speaking, what with the lava on the other room? Wouldn't this water boil out or something? Ah, it's pretty interesting. I just noticed it. That the water drips on Samus. Or wouldn't that water be boiling hot? Something like that. It's also pretty interesting how the, like, the rock layers change. Like over here, it's a different type of rock. See like how it revealed itself and then it hides itself again. I, th I think that's from Metroid Zero Mission. And actually that's a new feature, I just slightly tap like the jump button so it'd be like this and able to And see now it's drained. And also the different rock. Kinda adds more to like to the world kinda. And there we go, another lava that's blocking our way. I want the. You can make it so that Samus has infinite health. Can you just go through the lava? You see that scanning environment. Four metroids detected in the area. Oh, and also that, the uh, blinking, before it gives the beeping, it blinks the number when you're low in health. Pretty nice touch. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the Chosa Ruins. That was using just Sodia's um, art style, game assets. And yes, the spider ball is down there. It's not access to here. Is it? Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's not down here. It's for the. Either way, I need power bomb. I mean, not power bomb, bombs. Okay, let's see what it says. The temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. Statues and carved stones decorate the exterior. Its solid design also attests 
So the structure was built to be a sanctuary. It can withstand the constant earthquakes and falling rocks from the cave's ceiling. Extendable bridges are used to access the temple since the isolated seismic resistant base of the building shifts the position within each earthquake, structural damage is minimal, showing the building's knowledge and experience of the Chosa, even in unstable and dangerous terrain. Like, it's pretty nice how they expand the lore and stuff. Okay. Power grip, more fault, and power suit. I think I'll end it here. Just one more safe spot and there we go.